In 1908, Michigan's Henry Ford, son of an Irish immigrant, embarks on an audacious mission, creating what he calls a motor car for the multitude. His Model T sells for $850, around 23,000 today. Ford is a master of the publicity stunt. These are rare images, auto polo in New York City. The games promote Model T sales, which hit 10,000 cars in the first year. To reduce costs, Ford pioneers mass production and cuts deals with other captains of industry, like Ohio's Harvey Firestone. In 1900, the one-time buggy salesman risks his own money, $10,000, to set up a rubber tire factory in Akron. He starts making pneumatic tires, inflated with air, that gives cars a smoother ride on the country's rough roads. In 1906, Henry Ford recognizes their quality after a 60-day test drive on the streets of Detroit. He buys 8,000 in what is the biggest tire deal to date, paying the equivalent of $2.8 million today. Firestone and Ford are following in the footsteps of the previous generation of industrialists.